Hi, this is Roman of Crypto Lions. I will do a quick review of how to create an account in the Jungle Testnet and connect it to Scatter. So I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded Scatter. When you download, make sure it's from GitHub and it has the certificate. It's also a very good idea to check the checksum and that gives you a very strong indication that you downloaded what the, uh, what the developers intended you to download. So there's the checksum of the download and indeed it matches. Okay, so really there are two steps. There is telling Scatter about the jungle test net and then there's creating an account and putting the keys in Scatter. That's so either two or three steps depending how you count. Let's go into Scatter settings into networks. And here I just momentarily moments ago deleted my the jungle test net so you could see me add it again. So let's click add. It, it is an EOS IO blockchain. And where do you get this information from? You can get it from monitor.jungletestnet.io. Let's start with a chain ID. You click on API and make sure this says get info. Get info. And there's a field called chain ID right there. So that goes into chain ID. All right, let's give it a name here. You can write anything you want. I'll write jungle two. To get the host and the protocol and the port, you click on API endpoints. All right, and here they are, jungle2.cryptoalliance.io. It's port 80 and it is HTTP. Here's an HTTPS as well, so whichever one you want. And port 80, and that should do it. Network saved. All right, and the next thing you need to do is uh, create an account and generate some keys. Now you can use Scatter's key generation uh, right away, or you can go to Cleos and give the create key command. So here it is from Cleos. And in Scatter, you need to drop your private key so that they know about it. Oops, let's copy that so if you're if you're generating the keys outside of scatter you go to this import import key as text and we'll paste it in there all right now we go to the monitor again and we create an account using not the private key but the public key Yeah, so, and we'll use the same one for owner and active. You can make them different. And let's think of an account name. How about throw away ACT, throw away account. Transaction executed locally. Okay, it should be done. Let's, uh, we can check by getting the account info. Throw away ACT. All right, indeed, there's my uh, public key ending in DQDF. Yep. All right, so let's go back to scatter. Key name. Let's call this key throw away ACT in jungle two. What happened here? Throw away ACT. Let's try that again. Oh wait, there it is. 
but it's not linked. Maybe if I refresh, it'll connect this key with the jungle too. Wait, is that the private key F8Y? No, okay, it shows the public key. So this is correct as the correct key. I've given the key a name. Do I have to add an account to the throw away ACT owner? All right, that did it. One linked account, there it is. So that is how you do it. Uh, just to review, first you go into Scatter Settings and Networks, and you add um, you add the chain ID, which is available under API Get Info Command. You add information of about the endpoints, which is available in the monitor on a API endpoints. You generate a public and private key in the Jungle Monitor. You create an account and and uh, paste in the public keys for owner and active. And then you go over to scatter and you add keys, import as text, tell them your private key. And then it, it was also necessary to give the key a name. And it was also necessary to tell them what EOS account is associated with that key. So there you have it. Good luck. Have fun.